Today, we're gonna work from when your partner goes in a front headlock and they lock their hands under your arm and your head. When they do this, we have a really good escape that we need to practice. So I land, Joaquin's here, he got me in a front headlock. Whatever arm is inside of the front headlock is the arm you're gonna use. You're gonna step up the opposite side and catch your partner's tricep, okay? I'm cupping and I'm pulling this elbow and tricep tight to my neck. And what we're gonna do is called a short arm drag. If you know the basic arm drag, it's basically the same movement. I'm gonna drag this elbow across my body. As I do this, I need to turn perpendicular to my partner. My head is gonna go under my partner's chest. I change my angle here. What I'm looking for, once my, that grip breaks and my head escapes, is I'm looking for the hip. Once I catch the hip, if you notice my head is staying on the shoulder, I'm gonna start to get up to my toes. What this does is it puts a ton of weight on Joaquin's shoulder. You can see his head. He doesn't even wanna keep his head up because it hurts, okay? This is gonna keep my partner stuck temporarily as I circle behind. You can abandon the arm at any point and start working whatever type of turtle attack you want. But this move is gonna clear us out of the front headlock and give us an angle to get behind our partner. Go do the other side on this one. So if he has my headlock on this side, my right arm is inside. That's the one I'm gonna grab with. I'm gonna reach and get that tricep. If you need to, you might use this hand to bring it down and trade grips. But that cross grip on the tricep elbow. I need to step up, because I'm gonna turn and pivot. I need to change my angle. Watch this movement. It's like a sweeping head movement across my partner's center line. I drag the elbow. As I drag, I'm reaching for the hip. Boom. And then when I catch the hip, I get up on my toes. My head stays down, weight all on his shoulder. I'm just gonna continue walking. If you see Joaquin, I'm kind of arm locking him here in a way. You guys see this? If I can trap his wrist in my armpit, his elbows against my chest. So I've gotten a tap there before. Not very high percentage. Usually they bend their arm and I just go behind my partner and I can start transitioning to whatever. Does that make sense? But when you're caught in the front headlock, if you don't have answers for different hand positions, you're just gonna be stuck in that terrible position. He's gonna start setting the chokes, he's gonna go behind. So when you land, first thing is always make sure you're not immediately getting strangled. Recognize the arm position, and then we're making the appropriate move. If he has me in a front headlock with the hands locked, this is our move, okay? Short arm drag. I'm gonna catch the elbow, step up, turn and catch the hip, circle behind my partner. Make sure you get up on your toes. Drag, catch the hip, up on the toes. Don't do this. This takes the weight off your partner's shoulder. Now, it's a athletic battle. Now he's circling towards me. I'm trying to, you know, look, he's starting to sit. Uh, you yeah, see? If I can keep him like this, much harder for him to move. Let's try it, ready? One, two. 